back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and the search bar search for the iam open this thing new tab meanwhile just click on this activate cloud shell it is going to take couple of minutes so just wait for that now just simply come on the task number one just scroll down copy this name carefully just go to your I am then click on this create service account click on this create service account give the name click on create no need to give any roles just simply click on done now here you can see no permission service account has been created now if you just hover over here you will get one option for copy so just simply click on this copy option now just go to the document section i will share this link is in description box just copy the all this command and open on the online notepad i saw many of the windows user face the issue while they are just copy pasting the command on their personal notepad okay so just make sure of that thing okay now just paste this service account name carefully make sure there is no extra space now just copy from export and just scroll down till here here you can see uh, copy all this command now just come over here and paste command click on authorize now it is going to take couple of minutes so we will just move forward to the next task so what we have to do we have to go to a task called create service account credentials for the lab instructions so just scroll down a little bit and here you can see create service account credentials so now just copy this name okay copy this name go to your service account and then in the create service account paste that name click on create and continue just wait for a second for the role copy this role and search over here click on this first click on continue and click on done just wait for a second and it uh, service account has been created now if you just see over here click on this click on this key okay now add service add key and make sure you are in the pops up app service account click on this create new key and click on create make sure it's json format and simply click on create so now the key has been created and downloaded to your system now many of you guys face this issue okay so now what you have to do just copy this name carefully credentials or json copy this name come over here click on this open this in finder okay and please make the changes with this file like this your file be, must be localized this credential.json i saw many of you guys what happened when they upload the file over here i will tell you when we have to upload that once this command get executed then we have to upload this file so what happened after uploading the file the file must be credential.json but for many of the users files look like credential.json.json so please make sure you are uploading the correct file if not you will face the issue in this task so wait until this task get executed and i will tell you how you can just cross verify that you have uploaded correct file or not
So as you can see, it's done. Now what you have to do, simply click on this three dot, click on this upload option, click on choose file and choose your credential dot JSON and upload it. Click on upload. Okay, now please pay attention guys. Okay, so it's done. Now let me just click on this cross. Let me just clear this out. So you now just go to the document section. Copy this first command, ls command, copy this and paste. And here you can see the file name is credential.json. So if for you the file name is credential.json, then just move ahead the last two commands. If not, then just make the changes accordingly and again upload that file and then run these two commands. So just copy these two commands and run. Now it is going to take a couple of seconds and then it will be done. So it's done. Now if you just scroll down, copy all these four commands, copy that and paste. Now it is going to take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, just go to your lab instruction and just scroll down, click on check my progress for task number one. You will get a score without any issue. Sometimes it take time to update, uh, update a score. So do not worry about that. But if you upload the credential.json file correctly then you will get a score otherwise you will face unnecessary error now if you just scroll down as you can see our second task command has been um, uploaded or you can say executed properly so if you just scroll down and click on check my progress for task number two you will get a score without any issue now if i just come over here so here you can see we got a full score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day